One thing only veterinarians understand is just how slow to change and illogical the veterinary school curriculum is. I just published a paper in the Journal of Veterinary Medical Education along with my co-authors, Dr. Robin Chadwin and Ryan Merkley, and we were able to obtain teaching protocols via public records requests for all public veterinary schools across the United States and Canada. And here's an example of what we found. Washington State University College of Veterinary Medicine continues to use live horses in invasive instructional labs that ultimately end in unaliving the horses. According to college leadership, these horses are sourced from a USDA animal research facility and students have repeatedly asked why the horses cannot be adopted out. The explanation provided is that because the horses are owned by the USDA, they are not eligible for adoption under USDA regulations. But to date, no one at the institution has been able to identify or produce the specific USDA regulation that prohibits adoption of these horses. We are actively attempting to locate and review the policies, but in the meantime, the horses continue to be killed, and this lab will take place in January. Historically, the curriculum involved multiple weeks of procedures, anesthesia in week one, tenotomy and neurectomy in week two, followed by exploratory laparotomy and euthanasia in week three. This year, the school has consolidated these procedures into a single terminal event, after which the horses are unalived. While framed as a refinement, the outcome remains the same. The healthy horses are unalived for training purposes. A group of us are exploring whether it might be possible to intervene and facilitate the rescue of these horses rather than allowing them to be unalived. Veterinary schools should teach students on models first, then under the guidance of experienced surgeons on animals who need procedures. Access to these procedures provides animals with the care they need and the students with the training they need. This is a more effective method of training. So will you join me in helping improve the curriculum at veterinary schools like Washington State University? Please follow me like, comment, and share to hear more.